Right, I feel these are the most important videos because 37.5% of the whole of your GCSEs is interpreting data and graphs that are given to you in the exam. Okay, you don't even need to know anything about some of the terms used there. As long as you can describe graphs and charts correctly, you'll pick up an awful lot of marks. So, here we go. Uh, generally, whenever you see a graph, you have to interpret it the same way. What you need to know is that the bottom line tends to be the independent variable, the thing that you have changed yourself. And to pick up at least one mark, all you say as X increases, Y does this. Okay, so that's one mark for each of those there. So, um, here for example, you've got two arbitrary units. Now, the exam board every so often chucks in these things called arbitrary units. They they try to confuse students by give, chucking in terms they've never heard before, and they see as to how you react to them. Arbitrary unit is a way of measuring things. For example, neutron is an arbitrary unit, but we've all agreed to ag say that a newton is a certain size of force. Uh, arbitrary means it's, it's it's got a name to it that's just been made up. So things like Celsius, things like centigrade, it's like they're all arbitrary units, but we tend to just use Celsius rather than actually uh, other units. Right, so in this case, uh, what you'd say is as the amount of flobs increases, what happens to the zigs? Well, the zigs increase as well. Now, how are you going to pick up the second mark? Because there's normally two or three marks here. Well, the second mark is for recognizing the fact that it changes. So, you, so the second mark, talk about the changes in the graph. So uh, the amount of zigs increases more rapidly at the start then levels out would get you the second mark. If there's a third mark up for grabs, you might want to talk about perhaps as you double the number of flobs, the number of zigs doubled. That isn't the case here, but you may have to give readoffs as well to support it. We'll see an example later on. The other thing you can, another way of picking up marks is by, if it forms a straight line, the data, it's known as a linear relationship. So say it's got a linear relationship. Okay. Uh, also, A is a specific example that is, goes through naught naught. It goes through the origin of the axis. Now you must make sure it is zero zero down there. And if it does do that, and it's a straight line, that is known as directly proportional. So make sure you use that word. It is directly proportional if it goes through the origin. Here's some amazing uh, stats. This is a, a genuine bit of stat I, I read earlier on. It, this is showing you the number of uh, films in which a film star called Nicolas Cage has starred. Okay, and it's got it's got, it's got uh, one film, two films, three films, four films per year. Okay, and when someone's looked at this, they've actually found out that when he, he stars in in one film, ninety people drown in pools. When he stars in two films, a hundred people drown in pools. When he stars in three films, it's around ninety people drown in pools. And when he when he stars in four films, he, he, that's about one hundred and ten people drown in pools. So there seems to be some sort of correlation. The more films he he film appears in each year, the more people drown in pools. But obviously, this is a, a ridiculous thing to say. You know, stop Nicolas Cage filming films because people are drowning. There is there's clearly there's the correlation there. But it doesn't mean that he is responsible for drownings. So what you need to say is that increasing one is not necessarily an increase in another. Okay, so you need to consider other factors as well. Again, this is a really common exam question. You know, um, is do you think you've proven this? And very often you say, well, no. That there, there's a correlation there, but it does not equal causation. Okay, a link in one does not necessarily mean a link in the other uh, because other variables. Other factors may have been changed, okay? And as happens, other factors have been changed. It's only valid if you've only ever changed one thing. And in other words, that's the films in which Nicolas Cage changed was the only thing changed. But of course, other things, other factors were changed in there. You know, uh, it could have been the introduction of a new chemical that was that was killing people. It could have been that all the pools were suddenly being made a lot deeper for one reason or another. It's just, it's, this is entirely linked by, by chance. Right, let's practice these skills then, folks. How are you going to pick up three marks from this uh, table? Here's the answer. As you increase the temperature, the amount of sugar dissolved increases. One mark. You could say that it increases more rapidly between 0 degrees and 20 degrees, where it shows a linear correlation, and it is directly proportional. But after 20 degrees, it changes. There's the second and third marks. Uh, that it now levels out at a roughly a value of, let's say, imagine that's 15 grams for sugar. Okay, so you can see as to how to put the marks. You, you comment on the general trend. In other words, it increases as increases the temperature. You comment on any changes to that trend. And finally, you, you perhaps give a few examples. And if you can say linear relationship, and you can say directly proportional, if it's true, that will get you the third, uh, the third mark.
okay and that is how you interpret graphs and get maximum marks of them they're really easy to pick up guys